Hey guys, Mrs. McBride here with some information to help you find research for your science fair project. Now, this is going to be pretty quick. We're just going to hit the highlights. And if you were here last year, this should sound a little bit familiar. So let's go get started. Whenever we find information on the internet, whether we're using it for school or just for ourselves, we always need to ask ourselves two questions. Is it true? And who wrote it? Is it true is pretty obvious. Is this good information? We know there's a lot of bad information out there on the internet. Sometimes people put it out on purpose, and sometimes they're just passing along information they think is correct, but it really isn't. So we always need to double check and make sure that we have good information. One way to do this is to verify the information. Do a quick Google search when you come across a fact to see if this fact can be found somewhere else. Because if it's true, you should be able to find it in multiple places. And this goes along with who wrote it. We want our information to come from experts. There are websites created by all kinds of people. So we want to make sure that when we use information, it came from an expert, someone who knows what they're talking about. So with these two questions in mind, let's get Googling. Now, Common Science Fair Project is about how salt affects the boiling time of water. We're going to work with that today. So remember, Google is a search engine. It's not actually answering our questions. Instead, it takes the words that we've typed in, picks out what it thinks are the keywords, and matches those keywords against all the websites that it's found on the internet. So while Google does a really good job of interpreting our questions and filtering out all those extra words, we get better results if we put in good words. So for our salt water project, we're going to type in salt boil water. And let's see what we get. Okay, so this box up here, this is not Google answering our question, guys. None of this information comes from Google. Instead, this information comes from websites that Google has found, including this box. This is from a website. Now, this is really convenient when we're just looking something up, but we need to go a little bit deeper. So we're going to look at three websites that Google has found. Let's start with this first one. The article is titled, Why Do You Add Salt to Boiling Water? And it's from thoughtco.com. So we're going to take a look at it. And when we read the article, it tells us that salt increases the boiling point of water, but salted water actually boils more quickly, which seems counterintuitive, as the author says, but when we test it, we see that it's true. The author goes on to say, though, that you need to add a lot of salt in order to make a difference. And it really only makes a slight difference. Okay, so that is what one article says from ThoughtCo. This one is from Live Science. And it goes on, again, to say pretty much the same thing that our first article did. That it makes a slight difference, but you need to add a lot of salt. Our third article is from Mental Floss, and it says that that is not true, that salt increases the boiling point of water, so salted water takes longer to boil. So this says something in the first two articles. So which one is true? How do we know? Let's go ahead and look into our second question. Who wrote it? So this article, the one that says adding salt doesn't make a difference and makes it boil, take, I'm sorry, increases the time it takes to boil water, is by Sean Hutchinson. Um, here we can click on his name to see more about him. And it tells us that Sean has degrees in English literature. It doesn't say anything about science. He writes science articles and is interested in science, but he's not a science expert. Okay, so that's Sean Hutchison. Now let's see if we can find out more about this website, Mental Floss. All right, we'll click over on the menu, and under About, it doesn't give us anything about the website in general. Let's try this button. It is a destination for curious people deliver smart, fun, and shareable content in an upbeat and witty environment. 
Uh, it doesn't say anything though about its writers being experts in their topics. Okay, and we'll keep this in mind. Let's go look at our other websites. All right, let's go back to our first website from thoughtco.com. This one is by Anne Marie Helmenstein, PhD. So PhD means she has a doctorate, which means she's an expert in something. We don't know what. So this looks like there's a link to learn more about Anne Marie. So we're gonna click on her. Her PhD, her doctorate is in biomedical sciences, which means she's a science expert. And it goes on to say that she's a science educator with experience teaching chemistry, biology, astronomy, and physics at high school, college, and graduate levels and that she's a thought co and about education chemistry expert. So it seems like she probably knows what she's talking about. If we go on to read more about her experience, she's been working as a scientist and as a science writer. So she knows a lot about science. I would consider her an expert. So you can probably trust what Anne Marie is saying, but let's check our other website just to be sure. Okay, so our live science article is by Laura Gegel, senior writer. It doesn't say that she has a PhD, but let's look more at our article. Right in the beginning, when she's talking about adding salt to water, she has a quote here, right here, and it says, it doesn't really make so much of a difference, said Leslie Ann Giddings an assistant professor of chemistry and biochemistry at Middleburg College in Vermont. It goes on to quote Giddings multiple times. So our writer here, Laura Gegel, didn't come up with the information by herself. Instead, she consulted an expert. She talked to someone who knew what they were doing and she quotes that person. So again, even though our writer isn't an expert, our information came from an expert that the writer consulted. But let's look more into this website and into our author. So we are going to scroll down until we can see about us, about live science. And when we read here, we see that live science mission is to educate the public about science. And we scroll down to see more about its staff and we can see that its editors and its writers, including Laura Gegel, have science expertise. They have degrees in science. Okay, so these people are actual scientists who are now writing about science, but they still talk to other experts in the field to get their information. So this looks like a good source of science information. So we can trust live science and thought co more than we can our mental floss article. So we're going to use the information from ThoughtCo and Live Science for our project. And we're gonna believe what they say because they are experts and they're reporting the same information. It's tricky though because the information in mental floss was the same. They reported that the boiling point is higher, but the first two websites interpreted it differently, which I know is really confusing, but this is why we need to verify and we need to dig a little deeper. And we can see that our first two websites are from scientists. The information came from actual scientists who know what they're talking about. So we're gonna believe those sources. That's why it's important that we ask ourselves both of these questions. Is it true and who wrote it? because all three websites said that adding salt raises the boiling point of water, but are two websites written by science experts go on to explain that it does make the water boil faster. So it's important that we always know where the information came from. And I know this sounds a little bit complicated, but you can do it as long as you ask yourselves where did this information came from, and is it true? If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Good luck, guys.